This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Uh, fun question here from Charlie. He wants to know, can you tell us about your match with Tom McGee? Of course, this became uh, something that everybody was talking about last year when the lost tape between the famous match between Tom McGee and Bret Hart was finally discovered seemingly after been lost for years and years, uh, it aired on the network and got everybody buzzing. Uh, it was written about at the time that this guy was going to be the next big star. He uh, looked like the ultimate warrior, but wrestled like Ricky steamboat. Well, that's what people thought. And then they saw him with some other opponents and well, wasn't quite the same. I think DiBiase had a crack at him. You had a crack at him. Bret Hart had a crack at him. And those were his three good matches. But with anybody else, it was, uh, well, less than awesome. What do you remember about your Tom McGee match? How was the Brad Hart match? Did you watch it? It was good. It was a good match or just good for the circumstances. No, it was a good match. Well, then Brad is needs to take a bow. Cause I didn't have a good match with him. And I don't think Teddy did. I think it was passable, but when you're working with three, three heels, with that much experience, you think they would have all been good, right? Yeah. I don't think they were good. Uh, I think Tom was a guy, you know, this was a time where Vince salivated over guys that looked like that. I mean, you know, he's a body guy, obviously. And, uh, Tom handsome guy, credible body, very athletic. I think his background was like what gymnastics or something. Yeah. He had a, a crazy background where he did have, uh, some gymnastics, I believe, but he also had lots of other, uh, competitive things that he had done, but the biggest of which that got Vince's attention was competitive bodybuilding. Uh, so he's doing strongman type competitions, but he looks like a competitive bodybuilder. And I think that was obviously the attraction. I think the downside, and I put a lot, a lot of thought to it. You know, I remember having the dark match with him, you know, before the show started, you at least have a fresh crowd, but they were smart enough to know you're out here with this guy that they have no clue who he is. You have the, all this history and you're just bumping around for a guy and you just put him over with his finish. They saw through it pretty quick, you know, and word spread, um, I just don't think Tom's timing was right because you got to remember during that particular time, that era, a lot of guys were very good workers. And when you were not very good, you really stood out because there were a lot of great workers. As a matter of fact, that was a prerequisite of being able to get a job during that time. Uh, and I just think he was so, so, and, and, I can imagine him being out there with a less uh, uh, seasoned heel and really stinking to join out. So I don't know what the when he left or why he left or anything like that. Well, it's just fun to go back and, and talk about sort of the the what ifs. I think uh, a lot of our listeners we get the questions a lot of times. Hey, why didn't this guy work out? Hey, why didn't that guy work out? And, and that became almost a legend because nobody ever saw the actual match. Next one is a, a fun one. The man of the nineties wants to know if Arn could give a shoot spine buster to anyone in wrestling history. Why would it be disco inferno? Oh, it wouldn't. Uh, Glenn's harmless. I think. Uh, he's just one of those guys that just, he has a, a thought in his head and he's going to go ahead and complete that thought. No matter if you're in the middle of a sentence or you're talking to one guy or two guys, or you're not paying attention, or you're really in a deep conversation with somebody and he's going to put his head in and say what he wants to say at that time. No big deal. Uh, feel bad about what went down behind us, you know, or between us years and years and years ago on a fateful flight. Uh, as you get older, you, you start to regret a lot of the things that, uh, that could have been different very easily and, and changed very easily, uh, throughout your past. So no spine buster for, uh, disco, but on a downside, he's a good enough worker. He'd probably take a hell of a bump for me. 
Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.